You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Sam and Max. Taking your souls will satisfy my dark masters once and for all. And then I will use my army of the undead to take over the world. <laughs> Damn you, Jurgen! Yep, you owe me five bucks, Sam. I never thought he'd go for the cheesy evil laugh. Insolent to the last. No matter. Oh, we shall see how you make this of ice cracks after you are dead. Well, looks like this is it, little buddy. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. I wondered where I'd left my wallet. I can't even remember how we got here. Come on, Max. Remember, we were back in the office, just back from Easter Island. Wait, wait! Do the whole thing with the music and all that. Oh, all right. Doesn't being High Priest of Easter Island and President violate the separation of church and state? Blasphemy! Hey, oh, hang on. The holy water is giving me a religious vision. A goat born with an HDMI port. An unwelcome visitor. Ah, the dead walk the earth. And bells, bells, bells! Hey, not bad. Hello, Commissioner. Lightning! A dog castle! Death! A snowy egret! No, a chicken! Do you mind not making so much noise? Speak up, Commissioner. I can't hear you. We're having a zombie attack. What's that, Commissioner? Zombie attacks? Jen running George A. Romero in a baby doll t-shirt outside the food court with a $43 gift certificate. We're on the case. The commissioner says zombie attacks are popping up all over the world like pus-filled boils on the decaying flesh of, well, a zombie. Wait, who's attacking? They're coming from some place called the Zombie Factory. Oh, zombies. Zombie attacks! You wander around aimlessly and see what you can turn up. Meanwhile, I'll actually figure out where they're coming from. One step ahead of you. This is Sybil. Could you please tell Honest Abe that I'll never speak to him again in my whole life? Ever? Even if I'm being dragged through the streets by wild donkeys? Thanks. I know why the caged bear had sings. Fantastic! 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 It's the place where High Priest Max takes his holy baths. Chattanooga Doo Doo. If reviews got reviewed, this one would get four and a half stars. Where'd you file our last case? Under W for waste of our lives, comma, a freaking huge. This is officially the northernmost pole on Earth. He may not talk as much now, but you still has all the charm of a pint of urine. Why'd we save this again? She's worthless without a ring. Banang. Tastes great and fun to say. Banang. I 
Ironically, the roller coaster was the only part of the retreat where no one barfed. Someone's setting up thousands of dominoes across the street. Talk about way too much time on your hands. Says the guy watching someone set up thousands of dominoes. I'm amazed I had the presence of mind to take a picture. You know what they say about guys with big feet. Your waist here. And people said a slab of curiously shaped rock couldn't be vice president. Beat it, deadbeat. Yeah. Go away, hooligan. I'm sorry. So, the zombies drink beer. A clue, perhaps? Let's press on. The zombies beer stein. Get lost. The Lucky Vermin Oh, now showing Robert Goulet's hamster, Gigi! It's a regular carcass of sin. Isn't that cute, Max? The rats have set up their own little casino. Where's Jimmy Two Teeth? I want to show him a new sleeper hold I learned. The boss is busy. He can't be too busy for us. We're the ones who gave him his big break. Not to mention various smaller fractures and sprains. The boss is busy. Look, Max, it's our undead vandal. And... Shall I beat him relentlessly now? No, you might damage Jesse James's hand. It's a national treasure. Hey, buddy, give us that hand back. Quiet, Max. With our aim, we're lucky to hit them at all. Zombies attack city. So what's the bad news? Max, look behind you! <gasps> Zombies! Max, look behind you! <gasps> Zombies! It's closed. Bosco went into hiding when we convinced him T-H-E-M we're coming. Hiya, cops. Do you Hi know... There. Are you tired of paying a lot for your internet service? What? No, not really. Well, those days are over. Welcome to a new type of internet access. S.O.L. So simple even a zombie could use it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Processing. We have gathered extensive marketing data on zombies. Zombies need an easier, less expensive way to access the internet. That's why we developed Stuttgart Online for the greatest concentration of newly active zombies, Stuttgart, Germany. You've unlocked a new area. What do you say that for? We do not know. He has been like this ever since the accident. Max, when I'm done yammering, remind me we gotta drive to Stuttgart. Quick like a zombie. Drive to Stuttgart, right. Forgot it already. 
What happened to Bluster Blaster? There was a processing accident while developing our latest invention. I'm fine, Sam. Haddock is the best kind of fish. I'm fine, Sam. We regret any inconvenience this may have caused. I'm fine, Sam. Thanks for asking. We just want to pimp our car. We no longer offer car upgrades. Our income has been lower than previously forecast. But this neighborhood has the highest accident rate in five states. We have spent a lot of this year out of town, Max. Oh, right. So we've devoted our resources to developing the ultimate online experience, SOL. You're selling the internet to zombies? Not just the internet, but much, much more. From trivia to music, lifestyles to death styles, and inventive new recipes for brains, Stuttgart Online is the premier online zombie destination. After all this time, you're not offering any car upgrades? None at all. We regret the inconvenience. There's a new invention. It is much too dangerous. Intrigued? Go on. It's the super high-powered antenna for wireless internet access while on the road. There are problems. Using it could result in catastrophic electrical failure and spontaneous explosion of your vehicle. We see. And what are the problems? We'll take that super high-powered antenna. We spent our entire savings on development. We can only give it to you if you help us market SOL. Take the provided CD launcher and use it to give installation discs to zombies throughout the city. We like marketing. And we love shooting things. I like wearing short pants. Would you like to begin driving now? Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Hello, and welcome to the Pimpla Car Marketing Challenge. I want to shoot things. Please deliver the magic of SOL to the displayed number of zombies. We'll make mad big. And you must do it in the allotted time. Ready, go! We cannot be held liable for any injury or loss of life. I'm liking the sound of this more and more. Please demonstrate the operation of the antenna to our big winners. Not the light. I don't want to see the bright light again. Very well, you get to figure it out for yourself. She was the only woman I ever loved. This century, at least. Yeah, maybe you should talk about this with your therapist. She was my therapist. Oh, good. Lamont and Wallace, you're here. Sam and Max, actually. Whatever. Your friend here is driving me crazy. Take him off my hands, would you? What's shaking, Abraham? She's gone. Left me. Who's gone? Sybil! Of course she left you! She dumped you like yesterday's breakfast when she caught you macking on the Moai heads! I was sure it was just one of her moods. Come on, Abe. Take it like a man. Think of all the advantages of being single. Like what?
You can do what you want, when you want. You answer to... And nobody cares if you die! We seem to be working at cross-purpose... Maybe, but this way I get to annoy two people at once! Keep a stiff, hairless upper lip, Abe. Always. Whee! Sybil's back in business? Take an number and I'll be with you. Oh, hi Sam and Max. I'm uh, out of applications right now, so uh, let's just be friends. Sure. What happened to Abe? I'm sure I don't know to whom you are referring. So, Mr. Molman. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, Harry. Tell me more about you. Well, let me see. Interesting things about me. Knickknacks come and go, but Newton's balls are forever. Harry Molman. Last time we saw you, you were... Yeah, yeah, on the moon. What's all this I keep hearing about zombie attacks? They're everywhere! You boys have guns, right? Are we just not getting through to these people? Yeah, we're really not that complicated, Harry. How are things going with you and Sybil? Oh, she's playing hard to get. But women have a hard time resisting my charms. <laughs> oh, she'll grow to love me. <laughs> yes, she will. See you later, Harry. <laughs> What's this? It's my ticket to relationship bliss. It's going to find my perfect soulmate, even if it has to alter the laws of space and time to do it. How come when I look at it, I hear the chanting of demons from the infernal plane? Max, when don't you hear that? Good point. It's Sybil's soul mater. Right. I'm going to need that, so don't touch it. What gives, Sybil? Did you start your dating service again? Not quite. All my clients are applying for dates with me. Um, as kind of officers of the law, we have to point out that that's kind of illegal. Does that mean we can shoot her to regain health points or something? What? No. Get your heads out of the gutter. It's not like that. I'm looking for my soul mate. How are you going to find your soulmate? Not by jumping in with the first reanimated statue that comes along, that's for sure. I've got the initial screening, and then rigorous interviews, and finally, the soulmater. I want it! What does the Soul Mater do? Not sure. I won it in an online auction, and the instructions are all in Sanskrit. Something about ripping souls from across the plains to reunite them with corruptible mortal vessels. Doesn't that sound romantic? I could just die! Sounds like a very real possibility. Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Zombies? Where? Hmm. Irrational fear of zombies. Interesting. But yes, I did get an email about something like that from some friends in Europe into the whole equal rights for the undead thing. Can't remember where exactly. Remember to lock up tonight so the zombies can't get in. 
Get in? There are zombies right outside? I'm not going to lock my door. This is a public place, and they have the right to peacefully assemble just like anyone else. Good luck finding your soulmate. This has nothing to do with luck, Sam. It's all about psychology and technology. Do you know anything about a zombie factory? Zombies don't make things, they break them! No, it's a factory that makes zombies. Inconceivable! That's like making hate and evil and awfulness. So you're saying you don't like zombies? What have you got against zombies? Disgusting creatures. They're always breaking things. Zombies are why we can't have nice things. Wait, the reason you don't like zombies is that they break things? Yes! Stupid, clumsy undead. And that bothers you more than the brain-eating? They're hell on knickknacks. Zombie! Ah! What's shaking, Abraham? She's gone. Do you know anything about a zombie factory? Do you mean like a factory that comes to life after it's been shut down, cranking out products in a hideous parody of actual production, destroying other factories it comes into contact with? No, that's not what we're looking for. But I wish we were! What do you know about zombies? Pests. Hooligans. They'd always gather outside the memorial with their million zombie rallies and groanings. Always playing that awful music they listen to. How do you stop a zombie? Beats me. Just between the three of us, I'm pretty hopeless at anything except making speeches. Stay strong, Mr. Lincoln. Do you know anything about a zombie factory? Oh, sure. I was a foreman at a zombie factory for a year while I was riding my opera. They're good workers, as long as you don't let them unionize. No, this isn't a factory that hires zombies. It's a factory that makes zombies. Oh, well, then, uh, did you say zombies? I thought you said elves. Zombies giving you much trouble, Stinky? If that is your real name. Oh no, they're a nuisance, but at least they eat quickly and leave. Your friend Lincoln is the real horror. Come on, give Abe a break. He's on the rebound. He keeps trying to pay me in Confederate money. Who does that? That doesn't even make sense. So, have you heard from Grandpa Stinky lately? Like... From beyond the grave? What are you talking about? Grandpa's still on his Himalayan mountain climbing junket. I thought you said Grandpa Stinky was on an around the world cruise. Let's watch as the spider tries to free herself from her own web of lies. Oh, he sent me a postcard. His cruise was hijacked by Sherpa terrorists. They ended up making him their god, and now they're following him on a quest to scale the world's tallest peaks. Well, her story does seem to hold up. What's with a sunlamp, woman who will call Stinky for the sake of convenience? So that's what that is. Oh, I mean, of course, that's what that is. Have to look my best, you know. The magazine set such an unrealistic standard of beauty for grandpa murderers. Can we have your sunlamp? What could you possibly need it for? Max needs a UV bulb for his teeth bleaching regimen. You think a smile this white comes naturally? Well, go ahead. I don't need... I mean, I'm done with it. Bye. What's this sticky black goo? That's my gooey molasses tar cake. It's a recipe handed down through my family for centuries. All the way back from the primordial ooze from the looks of it.
Want to help me carry this thing around, Max? I just want the bulb. Did you just get deja vu? Just close your eyes and it'll pass. I weep nightly for our little lost. Where are we headed, Sam? I want to drive around and hit a bunch of zombies with some CDs. Me too! Ready? Go! Keep trying for more decals? You bet. Excellent. Ready? Go! You bet. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. 
Congratulations, you've won! Would you like to keep trying for more decals? You bet. Ready? Go! Shiny decal. Banana bread. Would you like to try? And how? Go! to try again? No. 
are salty. Just look at what we've added to your sweet, sweet ride. My self-esteem has never been higher. Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. Here we are in Stuttgart. Very atmospheric. You think this is the big spooky castle the locals were wailing and stammering about? Could be. Hey, look. There's a gaggle of zombies. Politely lining up outside. Ooh, classy. Yeah, Europeans make the most refined undead. This must be the place. Wow, the cops actually installed something well for once. I won't be able to just pull it off. There's a pack of clove cigarettes in here. Clove cigarettes? Gilroyal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. For that extra stink of sophistication. A coffin that's been opened. From the inside. Wait. You mean... ZOMBIES?! Here lies someone important. And tall. And anorexic from the looks of it. Get anything good, Sam? Looks like the deadbeat undertakers and opportunistic German rats got to him first. Brain's in decent shape, though. They put a stone slab over your corpse. You know they really don't want you coming back. Whee! Stand aside, Undead. We have to get inside. Yeah, go film a music video or something. <laughs> Typical zombies with their overinflated sense of entitlement. Plump, juicy brain we dug up. Something smells good. I'm proud we found a non-violent solution to our problem. Yes, ripping the brain from a freshly buried corpse was the start of a kinder, gentler Salmon Max. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie family. Oh, hello, sir, Mr. President. Agent Superball! <laughs> what are you doing here? The place is being overrun with zombies. Yes, ladies' night is always packed. The master is a genius at promotion. Who's in charge here? Master Jurgen, the greatest leader ever. You said the same thing about Hugh Bliss and the evil president! This is different. Master Jurgen has a castle. He does have a point. What is this place? The zombie factory. Master Jurgen's ancestral home. Garrison of his undead army. Best doors in all of baden württemberg Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. 
Super Bowl. Let us in. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any hazardous items outside. Garlic clove cigarettes, not allowed. Holy water, taboo. You'll have to throw them away. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Let us in. Hmm. Very well. Have your IDs ready, please. <gasps> Do the voice! Yes, sir. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie factory. Seems to be some sort of zombie discotheque. Discotheque? <laughs> Welcome to the 80s, Sam. We've been waiting for you. Do I smell new blood? <laughs> mm, you are the new DJs, I presume. We're Sam and Max, freelance zombie hunters. Ah, yes, the bit players from the Midtown Cowboys. Bit players? We're the stars! Stars? <laughs> Please stop, you'll make me to giggle. <laughs> Oh, look at me! I'm so edgy and subversive! Only Herr Fezzerly is truly acquainted with the darkness. So what's your story, Emo? I am Jürgen. I am not surprised you don't know me. No one truly knows me. And this is my army of the undead. Hmm... With every soul I take, my army grows larger. <laughs> oh, I did not just reveal my master plan. Well, that was easy. Back, foul monster! We're here to put a stop to your evil scheme. Yeah, cut it out with the zombies already. Stop me? <laughs> so many others have tried. That is how you say, played, yo. Now you must excuse me, for I am away to dance! I never knew vampires were so... fruity. Not all vampires, Max. Just the European ones. A haunted disco ball. Disco will never die! There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase. What's it say? It's been worn down. I can't read it. That doesn't even rhyme. There's some poetry inscribed on this coffin. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulcher, her only passion the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. That's poetry? I didn't say it was good poetry. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulcher, or else she... Ready to drop some fat beats or something? Nah, I'm okay. I went before we left. 
torment, desire, embrace, sepulcher, abyss, razors, death, pure energy, parents, pain, blood, misery, succubus, letters, sub-zero, Death, sepulcher, embrace. Letters. Look, Max. Jeez, Sam, I saw it open. I'm not an idiot. I can't see a thing. Your hand? Oops, sorry, little buddy. Find the swinging razor sharp pendulum. What razor sharp? Ow! That wasn't here before. Oh, so Jurgen's the only one who's allowed to redecorate? I wish the people making these fake books would at least try to make them look real. A fireplace with no fire, no logs, and no chimney. Nothing suspicious here. Let's keep looking. Excuse us, Mr. Vampire Prince. Uh, we're here to destroy you. And everything you stand for. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> you can never destroy me without destroying the source of my power. Not to pry, but are you having a grand mal seizure? Get me a belt so I can put it under his tongue. <laughs> you clumsily refer to my dancing, I presume. No surprise that you do not appreciate my moves. But my people recognize me as Uberfly. Witness! Yeah! <laughs> See that? That is power, my American friends. So, you're big fans of Midtown Cowboys over here? Yeah, it's Deutschland's most popular program. All the young people in the gymnasium wear the t-shirt which read, You probably hide the cow. <laughs> Her family's world is eternal confusion and pain. I appreciate the show on another level, of course, which is why the zombies love me. New location unlocked. What was that? You haven't heard the newest club hit, New Location Unlocked? Oh, you are so tragically unhip. Have you just been watching the same repeat of Midtown Cowboys all this time? You're just hearing the same jokes over and over again. Yeah, but like me, her Featherly adds something new each time. That is why the zombies love us. You call that dancing? If my sciatica weren't acting up, I'd show you some real dancing. Oh, you don't know how lucky you are, Jurgen. The sight of Sam trying to dance. Oh, the horror. Your empty threats bore me. Now, be gone, so my zombie posse and I can rock this house party to the break of dawn. Have you just been watching the- You're just- Job. 
Where is the source of your power exactly? Just curious. Yeah, we just want to look at it. Americans, the source of my power is not something you can buy and own. It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trends. Style is the only thing that is truly immortal, apart from vampires, which I am also. You know, for a master of style, you don't seem all that great. Yeah, you're just kind of dated and mopey. I don't get the thrall. Well, my zombies know how late it is. I speak to the bleakness of our existence. Winner of MTV Bavaria's most doleful lyrics competition for 270 years running. You've got a castle and a zombie army. What have you got to be down about? Yeah, we're at least twice as miserable as you are. Would you like to prove it? How do we do that? Every night is open mic night at the zombie factory. You may try your pitiful best to win over my audience, and then I will assault them with my freestyle melancholy, and they will continue to be in my thrall. How do we know you won't cheat? I never cheat. Yes, some of my rivals have been found with the blood drained from their bodies, but this is mere coincidence. Oh, it's on. Oh, very well, but I always emerge victorious. I gather one could say, it's in my blood. <laughs> He's doing it again, Sam, being all Euro freaky. Don't let him psych you out, little buddy. Let's show him how the real goths do it. What's with the banjo? I'm going for Southern Gothic. My name is, um... Count Crypt Wind Death. And I'm... Uh, Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare! And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo! We're the freelance grave robbers and we're ready to go, see? We're taking over your house like we're Nancy Pelosi! We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow! Our world is endless torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Cause you're flabby and pink like a salmon filet. Rich in omega-3. Peace out! <laughs> Pathetic. You have all the street cred of white 30-year-old video game programmers. Ouch. Now, take a listen to how far it is done. Bleeding wounds self-inflicted. Baleful mourning hackatai. Witch queen nurse has no antiseptic. Bandages cover scabs of despair. Yay! Yay! And my latest dance is called The Inconsolable Nephilim. Check it. <laughs> ah! Oh, 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 it burns! <laughs> Alrighty! It's okay, no problem. We're still cool. Yeah. Not so cool now, are you, Master Jurgen? It is but a minor setback. My zombies still know who is the master of style, am I right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a pack of garlic cloves. We're not leaving, are we? Let's go to the WARP studios. Oh boy! Finally, you're here. Let's get this started. A very special Midtown Cowboys. Scene four, take one in five, four. Hang on. I can't work like this! Actors! Oh, fine! Take five, everyone! Just come talk to me when you're ready. Shh! 
Shame no one ever thought to televise poker. Look, Max, it's our old co-star, Philo Pennyworth. Featherly! The name is Featherly! I thought you didn't like us calling you by your character name. Are you method acting or something? Hardly. I've legally changed my name to Mr. Featherly. Philo Featherly? No, Mr. Featherly. It simplifies the licensing contracts considerably. Did you know you're really popular in Germany? Did I know? It changed my life! That ill-conceived dalliance in prismatology left me penniless. You should have thought about a nest egg. When I was poor, I would have taken offense at that. Now I say ha. 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 Do you have any crazy fans? A Miss Greta Grunwald of Cologne. She insists on sending me scandalous photos of herself with messages about how she enjoys dark meat. Ugh. Oh, Greta! Oh, she keeps sending me messages about Hassenpfeffer. Break a leg. Or worse! Must be a prop in the episode. It's a bottle of Old Gutsmack brand malt liquor. What's going on here exactly? Oh, nothing special. Just the biggest episode of Germany's top-rated television show, that's all. Schnitzel time mit Regis und Katharina Lee? Not anymore. Didn't you get my phone messages? Midtown Cowboys is a surprise hit in Germany! What's the episode about? It's the climactic Mr. Featherly's Intervention episode! Sounds hilarious! This is no laughing matter. This is quite possibly the most important episode of television ever made. It's good to see the television industry tackling important social issues like addiction. Right. Social issues, whatever. I'm talking about product placement. This is going to be pure gold. <laughs> What's our motivation? Your motivation is to not get fired. Just read your lines from the cue cards, keep away from the pro. He's the one who's selling the... We're ready to start filming. It's about time! All right, people, place us, everyone. Let's make some money. Art. Let's make some art. Tonight, a very special episode of Midtown Cowboys. Can't we just ignore the problem and hope it will go away? Mr. Featherly needs our help, pal. Oh, there he is now. I must have left my bag in here. <gasps> I knew it! I knew you were hiding a cow! That's right, Mr. Featherly. We have been hiding a cow. But you've been hiding something much worse. What? I don't know what you're talking about. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies! Just look what you're doing to Bessie. We saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? Gil Royals brand garlic clove cigarettes? Admit you have a problem. Uh, all right, I admit it. I am addicted. But how could anyone resist a, a lung full of garlic flavored smoke? <laughs> they taste good, man, they're good for you. What a heart smart smoking choice. And they make you look so cool. Let's buy some. <laughs> wow. Sounds like Bessie wants her own pack of Gil Royals brand garlic clove cigarettes. And that's a wrap! See that, boys? That is acting. Are we leaving already? Let's go to Stuttgart. Mmm, 
And yeah, zombie guys. I'm so down with the smoking, yo. <coughs> Smooth. <laughs> Who's the master now, Master Jorgen? Your attempts to discredit me will not work. My Z-Boys still got my back. <laughs> I can't condone drinking, especially this stuff. I can't condone drinking, especially this stuff. We're not leaving. Let's go to the oh boy. We want to oh. For the love of just look what you're doing. We saw what How do you explain this? <sighs> Old gut smack brand malt liquor? We see you drinking it all the time. All right. I admit it. I am addicted. <sighs> oh, how could I not be? It's got the smooth hickory age taste that makes Every night a special night. It sounds delicious. Let's go buy some right now. Boys, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> right, about that. Looks like you'll need to buy three bottles of old Gutsmack brand malt liquor. Cows love it too. And cut. As the great Lee Strasberg once said, cha-ching. Are we leaving all? Let's go back to the office. Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go. Yeah, that's right. All the zombies love the vampire who drinks old gut smack. Yeah. Well, there goes our all ages rating. I think we lost that a while ago, Max. And I want to pour out a 40 for the undead who cannot be meet us tonight. Yeah. Why do they always have bottles of water at raves? Because of all the drugs, Sam. Then we better take one. We're not leaving. 
going, are we? Let's go. Oh. We want oh. Are we leaving all? Let's go back to the office. We hit it, Sam. Let's go. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any garlic clove cigarette holy water. Vita saying, Gesundheit. We'll be back. Take your time. Whee! Drink up, pal. Mmm. Tastes like righteousness. Sorry, sir. You'll have to leave any garlic cl holy water. The first season of Midtown Cowboys was so much better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jorgen. Yeah. Max and I want to ch We'll prove we- You know me. And I'm Baron Bat- and We're the Freelance Grave Rock- We'll knock you out deader than Bella Lugosi! We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow! Our world is endless, torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Cause all creation ends in death and decay. Entropy, G. Weak children of the night. Yeah. What? You have managed to impress my brainless zombies. No matter. I will still defeat you most easily. But first, an energy drink. Hey, no fair! Ah, to taste the blood of one who believes he has beaten me. <laughs> it is energizing, intoxicating. Drag me to hell with scarred arms. Uh oh, pain down below. Very soon, need release. Excuse a moment. No! Can't hold your holy water, Jurgen? You dare defile my. Oh, wait, hold on. That 
was gruesome! Mm. Oh, that is the very last of the straws! I don't care. <laughs> I did not become the Prince of Darkness just to make the friends, you know? I will destroy you, Sam and Max! Even without the stupid zombies! Who needs them anyway? <laughs> Zombie pile on you again! <laughs> Oh! Save some of the entrails for me, guys! We're not through yet, pal. After him! That's odd. Somebody dropped a typewriter ribbon. What good is that? What we really need are healing herbs. It's a useless typewriter ribbon. That is not a medically approved use of nipple rings, kids. I don't care if those dumb zombies like me anyway. They're so stupid. Stand back, foul creature. We come to cast you back into the unholy pit from whence you were spawned. What he said? Oh, heard it. I should have disposed of you irritants long ago. Now, <laughs> your two souls will fulfill my unholy contract, and I will make the entire Earth my non-stop house party of evil. And then there was the most epic battle of our entire career. Yeah, yeah, I remember the rest. So, what do we do now? Auf Wiedersehen, Sham und Max! <laughs> Gee, I got so wrapped up in the story, I forgot to think of a plan. We could make...
That was unpleasant. That jerk Jorgen got my suit all dirty. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Or take a piece of his! Mmm, jerk Jorgen. That does sound tasty. We, suffering serpent and the rainbow, Max, we've turned to zombies! Why are we standing like this, Sam? Oh, I thought you knew. Zombie Abraham Lincoln, what are you doing here? I... I don't know. This doesn't look like the theater. Something different about you. Hmm. You're not wearing your hat! And he's got a body, and he's not 20 feet tall, and he's just come out of a grave. This isn't our Lincoln, little buddy. Do I know you? How did you end up in Germany? Germany? I've never been. Apart from my family's cemetery plot just outside Stuttgart, I have absolutely no ties to Germany whatsoever. How are you enjoying the play? Oh, it's ripping. But I was disappointed that Boot Fellow wasn't in it. I hear he's quite the actor, and I was hoping to see him. Thank you, Zombie Abraham Lincoln, for helping us teach kids more about irony! Watch your back. What? Why?
going on here? Oh, you're the Americans, right? Thanks for the brain, guy. Hey, Max. We can understand the zombies now. Mmm, it was as good as my Nana's homemade Kimmelspanner schnitzen. I think understand is a bit extreme, Sam. Jorgen put us in some big machine and then we ended up here. Oh, yeah, guy. You're totally dead now, okay? But we're the freelance police. We can't die. I know, hey. None of us can. It's extremely excellent. You enjoyed the brain we gave you? Oh, yeah, it was delicious. He must have been really smart. So long. Catching you later on the flip side, zombie brother. Where was I sitting? Excuse me. Eight bullets, chumps! Hey! Ow! Yeah! Oh. I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's a consummate professional. Alright, which one of you undead creeps is gonna tell me where you got Sam and Max? Great, they're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one! Come to Papa! Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. It's the machine that removed our souls from our bodies. There's a television here? You'd think a guy with his own dungeon would invest in more secure cages. No wonder zombies always slouch. Ann Coulter, a life. Alchemy for beginners. Jorgen made it up to chapter 14, turning chocolate to gold. Oh, but build me a machine that turns gold nuggets to chicken nuggets, and we shall have power unlimited! Jurgen must be sleeping off his humiliation at the zombie club. Let's chop off his head, then set him on fire, then go for ice cream! We can't hurt him while we're still zombies, Max. Then let's put his hand in warm water! <laughs> Looks like a trophy case from all the vampire hunters who've tried to defeat Jorgen. How do you like your steak, Max? Pointy. Looks like a trophy case from all the vampire. Looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when he was younger.
Abyss. Razors. Pain. Parents. Look, Sam! I did not expect that thing over there to open. the floor so sticky? There's not a single possible answer to that question that I like. Came from behind. Let's go, little buddy. Eh, Flint tastes like cigarettes and cheap scotch. I don't think he's my hero anymore. You're only saying that because you don't have a soul, Max. Let's hurry and get it back. I don't like myself like this. He may have been our best president, but he's a total glass jaw against lone gunmen. I'm disappointed Flint fell for such an old trick. Can't talk! Must dance! Hey, Count Crippin Desgras, my hero. What's left of Zombie Abraham Lincoln's brain? A wooden stake from one of the fearless vampire hunters. Here we have a vampire in his natural habitat. Looks like a delicate piece of high precision medical equipment. away, Max. This is the kind of vandalism that turns your stomach. Nonsense! I embrace all kinds of vandalism! Okay, fun's fun, but get back in here. I'm already tired of being a zombie. Well, perhaps you should have thought of that before you treated me so abominably. Maybe now we'll get the appreciation we deserve. What's your beef against us? He never paid attention to me. And you're not much better. We'll force you back in if we have to. You can't make us do anything. nearly as scary when we're already dead. I bet my lifetime subscription to the Fortean Times that that's an alchemy machine. Never die batteries. They're dead. Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Brooding is more fun when you do it with a pal.
These diagrams are so scientific, I couldn't possibly make sense of them. I can't understand the... Neat! And dangerous! The best kind of neat! I bet that gave it enough juice. Bringing life to this decaying lump of flesh, we mock death! We become as gods, rewriting the very laws of the universe! Mm. It lives! Our creation lives! Happy birthday! He's almost a birthday? Well, kind of suck the horror right out of it, huh? Hi, gruesome. You're not Master Jurgen. Who are you? We're from the Church of Prismatology, offering a completely free session to test your bliss level with our patented blissometers. Well, it's not very blissful in this dungeon. Leave the science to the professionals, pal. Now bend over. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jurgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. What's your job around here? Do you kill stuff, or are you mostly decorative? Master Jurgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope! Uh-uh. It sucks. No one to confide in. No one to love. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? You're in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. Master Jurgen promised the same thing long ago. But ours is ready to go right out of the box. No assembly required. Sounds intriguing. Yeah. Farewell. Whee! Want to play Dr. Max? For the last time, Sam, no! Oh, with the monster. Oh, sure. It is at times like these, when a monster is driven to consider his place in history, are we not all but misshapen combinations of flesh and feelings, bodies and souls? Yeah, okay, we get it. Hiya, Gruesome. Let's go introduce you to our friend Sybil. I can't go like this. What woman could be attracted to someone as incomplete as I am? Yeah, trust us, Sybil's used to guys who aren't all there. All the same, I must be fully assembled before I go. And I thought you took forever to get ready, Sam. Yeah. Farewell. Zombies allowed to drive cars? I don't see why not. My license is just as expired now as it was when we were alive. 
Yeah, let's head back home. Come back here, you stupid hand! Shoot! Beat it, deadbeat! It's a free country, pal. Go away, hooligan! Uh, make me! Hey, punk, you just can't come into our office and take what doesn't belong to you? Oh, that is like the black pot calling names at the kettle, which is also black. It's different when we do it. We're professionals. Help! Someone help! Concern it, he's too fast. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's Jesse James's Rihanna. Surly, even in death. Is that tar cake? I love tar cake! Especially the little dinosaurs that got trapped in it during the Pleistocene epoch. Don't just groan and point. Do something! You saved me, Zombie Sam and Zombie Max. My heroes. Torn't nothing, ma'am. What? Oh, never mind. I'll take that, Mr. James. Guys. Yeah, whatever. So, I think I've narrowed it down to two guys. But I'm still not quite sure. You didn't meet any cool guys out there, did you? Nah. I can't understand you, my good man. Diction, diction. Nah. What are they doing? Make them stop! Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to sh A purely decorative display of violence. I've overslept! I'm late, I'm late! Hi, Gruesome. Let's go meet our friend Sebo. It's a frightfully long drive, isn't it? Are you sure you want to go now? Yes, let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam gets distracted and... Oh, more switches! Well, I never travel without my belongings. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the Soul Mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three lucky bachelors a series of questions. 
Based on your answers, I'll decide which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. Ah, zombies! I knew it! They've come for the knickknacks! Harry, please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. They're going to break everything! And eat my brain! Nonsense! Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? <coughs> oh, good call, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. The only thing I liked about my last boyfriend was that he had a way with words. He always just knew the right thing to say. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Would we be lounging by a fireplace? Because uh, I don't like fire. I'll make a note of that. And Bachelor number two? I would quote from my award-winning one-act play, The Cloaca Monologues, to wit. Oh, no, that's quite all right. Bachelor number three, same question. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. Keep your hands away from that, you filthy, disgusting creature! What? I expected better from you, Harry. But I wasn't talking about you! The, the, the zombies! Your anti-zombie talk isn't making things any better. I think you'd better go. Thank you for filling in on such short notice, Agent Superball, was it? My pleasure. You're looking radiant. Sweet. Don't leave without me. I get home thick. Relax. If we go back to Stuttgart, we'll give you a ride. But you have to wait in the trunk! We hit it, Sam. Let's go to Stuttgart. Quantum mechanics? It's quite complicated. It's a chocolate heart loaded with cat. Seems like a waste of good chocolate.
a 24 karat heart of gold. Get me my checkbook quick! I need to give to charity! Hiya, Gruesome. Let's go to s It seems we just got- Yes, what- Right. Bachelor number one. I'm still looking for a man who's good with his hands. How good are you with yours? What are you doing? It's the only way I know how to express my feelings, ma'am. Okay, bachelor number one. I'm looking for a man with a heart of gold. How would you prove you've got one? What's that? I'm terribly sorry. I was distracted. See, I used your restroom earlier, and I'm worried I might not have remembered to leave the seat down. Could you repeat the question? Hmm. I think I've heard enough. Okay, bachelor number one. Well, it is altogether fitting and proper that I answer your question. But in a larger sense, our love would be so pure, so harmonious, so rapturous, that my mere words could do little to add or detract. Miss Pandemic? Marry me? Oh, I mean, yes, Bachelor One. That's perfectly adequate. <clears throat> well, I think the choice is clear. Bachelor number one. Would you like to go steady? At last, I feel complete. Preposterous. Please, no cameras. I need a moment. After years of searching, I finally found the perfect man. Yeah! What? Oh, of course you're right, Max. This has all been a lie. Yeah! In my heart, I've always known who my true soulmate is. I just never wanted to admit it. What? I've been so stubborn and foolish. I only hope he'll take me back. Thanks a lot. Jerks. And I suppose the weekend in Cabo San Lucas is out of the question as well. I guess Sybil won't be needing this anymore. It's Sybil's soul mater. zombies in here do you have any idea how expensive brains are where are we headed Sam let's go to Stuttgart
Did you ever figure out how that thing works, Sam? There must be a button or a switch. The hell? What gives? I guess there's no switch. I wouldn't say that. Did everybody get tall and chubby all of a sudden? Hey, give my stuff back. Ah, so there's where you keep your gun. Ugh, Simon Max. You keep returning when you know you cannot defeat me. That's Max and Sam. No matter. I will take your souls once again, but this time your bodies will be... Obliterated! What? Obliterated. You know, cut off your heads, set them on fire, salt the earth. Oh, nothing doing. You're gonna regret you ever tangled with me and Max. I mean, Sam. As your Americans say, not all. Be careful with my body, Max. Don't be such a baby. You're a lot more damage resistant than I ever imagined. Let's get back to vampire. I never stopped. Hey, monster, think fast. Well, this is a step up, at least. It's too crowded in here! Oh, no. Hope you got the point. You suck, Jurgen! Hey, my line was better. But I cannot be defeated. I am the Prince of Darkness! Take this, me. We'll need it for... Ah, get a mouthful of ammo, Prince! Hey, Sammy, you're back. Just in time, too. What's up, Flint? You know, I've been tailing that Bosco mug, right? Well, the trail's gone colder than a Dear John letter written on no-tell motel stationery. Bosco's just loud and easily startled. We'll help you dig him up. That's the rub, see? Bosco's vanished off the face of the Earth!
Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the President of the United States. 